Hello world, this is Random Fix, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to change out your uh, dome light or map lights to LEDs. You'll notice them throughout your vehicle, and as well as on the door. And these are great to have all these lights around, but there's one issue, and it kills the battery. And my sons love sitting in the back and leaving that light on back there. So today I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to change these out and put energy efficient ener uh, LEDs in that use less energy and keeps the battery from dying and don't toast up the plugs in this car so when you leave a dome on for, uh, light on for many many hours sometimes you can actually burn that socket so let me go ahead and set this up for you guys alright so to do this what I normally recommend having is one of these pry bars a flat head screwdriver like that a little tiny one and a pick and I'm going to show you guys my secret tool just in case you happen to get the stubborn light. You do want to have the lights off because they get really hot. So let me show you how to pry this loose. Alright, so I went ahead and popped out the center trim piece here. What I did is I used my plastic uh, pry bar, please no metal. Uh, I'll have a link to these products below including the light bulbs if you need to get it but you definitely want to have one of these anytime you're working around the interior of the vehicle it'll keep you from breaking things scratching things so I went ahead and pried this loose now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the exterior cover so I can get to the light bulbs and the rest of it should be pretty easy including the rear dome light uh, let me be, I'll be right back alright so I'm removing the trim just using my plastic tri bar I'm gonna go around the the actual dome light area and there it is now the lights are there I'm gonna have to turn these off so they're not too hot and the trick is if you don't uh, you want to have a uh, either a cloth towel uh, in some cases I really like to use this electric tape uh, the painters tape I'll put it around the light bulb and I'll gently these are really hot. That's why I'm actually changing these out because they burn up. And let me pause and get that out for you guys. All right, so I went ahead and got the first light bulb out for the dome light. And here's gonna be the replacement one. This is LED. Uh, so this has a total of five lights instead of one. It takes a lot less energy and it doesn't burn hot and won't burn up the socket. One thing with these, when you put them in, if they don't work, you want to just go ahead and flip it around because uh, it's not just like a regular light bulb. So it has a plus and uh, minus, positive or negative. So in case they're not working, please flip them around. Uh, the first time I put these in about five, six years ago, uh, I, I thought I didn't do it correctly. Something was burnt out, but just rotate them around on here. So if you can actually see the light difference, I'm going to include this on the video, one of the pictures. This is a lot brighter. Uh, it doesn't get hot. This is unbearably hot. You can't even touch it. So that's the reason I'm changing it out. Let me pause this and I'll show you how to do the rest of it, including the doors. All right. So I went ahead and popped in both the light bulbs. They've been switched out. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my trim plate back in here. And the key to this is to take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Just gently push on here. That all snapped it together. This was going to be uh, one of the harder cars I've done. So if you can do this, this is on a 2010 Toyota Prius. The rest of it is going to be a breeze. And putting it together was just like that. My sunglass drawer still works. Let me get to the back and show you guys how to do that. All right, so the back is a lot easier. I just put, took my pry bar here, my tool. And I just went into the there, popped off. I'm going to go ahead and change out that light bulb. I'm going to turn it off first, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the one that came out of the car, and this is the one that's going in. I'll show you guys the three different sizes. Once I'm done, I'm going to pop this in and show you that it's on. And I went ahead and flipped on my little cover, but uh, I'll show you after I put the, the cover back on. All right, so I went ahead and popped the light bulb in. I'm going to go ahead and pop the cover back over. Again, you just want to be nice and gentle with this. And I got my switch back on in the right place. Let me show you guys how to do the door next. 
All right, so for the door, I just put the screwdriver here and it just pops out like that. I'm gonna go, to go ahead and hold the clip out of here. And now I'm actually able to go and change the light in, in this little fixture, which is gonna be pretty easy. Let me show you guys how to do that. All right, so here's the light fixture. And to get this out, all you do is just pull it back. So, and I have never done this car before. I've done thousands of these. But for this particular one, just popped out like that. And now I'm able to go change as that light bulb. And this is the same light bulb that we had over there earlier, uh, which was gonna be these guys. I'll have a link to them. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys really quick, these are the four light bulbs that I have in my arsenal. So if you notice, this is the smaller one. This was the one that was in the dome light. This was the one that was in the map lights up front. And these are ones that come up on some European vehicles. And then these sometimes you have to put in a license plate or if you have a really uh, slim uh, a profile that you gotta get in here. You could only use these. So between these four LED bulbs, I could pretty much change out a lot of uh, cars to LEDs. Don't, on some European cars, you wanna watch out and not try to use any of these. You need special ones and uh, those ones will basically have a built-in uh, kind of circuit and what it does is it tricks the computer to uh, thinking that there's not LEDs in there let me show you one of, which one of those looks like all right so these are one of the ones that actually has a circuit chip built into it and these will trick uh, in case you got a European car like a VW into thinking that it has a regular uh, light bulb in there and then that way they won't do the flickering. I don't recommend changing the license plate light sometimes because if you're slamming the trunk all the time, like with these two, um, I've seen it flicker after a year, but in my other cars I have these light bulbs and they still haven't gone out after three years. So this light bulb was really hard to get out. I used my uh, tape technique. I went in there, put some tape around it, pulled it out, came right out. And now I can go ahead and pop in my uh, my LED lights in here. And sometimes you hope you get it right the first time. So when you do pop it in, you don't have the problem that I had, which is right now. It looks like the LED is not working because it's incorrectly. So. Let me swap that back out and get that power down for you guys. All right. So when I was trying to take that out, it was really difficult with the bigger ones. So I actually used one of these slimmer ones. And as you can see, it's powered on. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in. All right. So I went ahead and popped that in. And to pop it in that easy. Uh, one thing I want to show you, talk to you guys about really quick is if you're thinking about replacing your brake lights, Please don't uh, don't change your, your brake lights. You can change out things like uh, your uh, your reverse lights, but when it comes down to the vehicle, if you try to change out turn signals, uh, which are over here or uh, other things, the computer will detect it. But it's okay to change out the reverse lights. The computer won't be able to detect that. So I really hope you guys have had a good time watching this video. It helped you guys out. Please make sure you guys have the right tools when you guys are doing this because these little trim pieces get to be very expensive. Get you guys a little plastic pry bar like that and just take your time. It doesn't take any muscle to do this. So if you're having to sit there and really struggle with it, um, you're probably uh, just not looking at it the right way. And I'll try to put up some more videos on other cars. This was one of more of the difficult ones. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and share this with friends and family that are thinking about doing this upgrade. It will save you a battery and uh, not leave you on the side of the road stranded. Thanks.